Welcome back to Let's Play Skyborn. Last time we joined the resistance against the Skyborn, and this time we're heading through the coal mines to get to the workshop of uh, Clarette's parents. Because they were working on something that could turn the tides, I guess. Some sort of magic repelling armor or whatnot. Oh, hey, conveniently, the mines are open now. Hey, Sully, I kept the mines clear. Like you... Oh, that's actually... You know what? I accept that. All right. The coal mines. There's a forge right in here. Why can't I pick up this coal? It's probably just, like, coal-stained rock. Got a save point, or a heal point there. Yeah, this, what I like about the studio's games is that they don't do a whole lot of crazy custom stuff, but what they do is pretty good. Give me that coal. Like, even the crafting itself isn't really custom, it's the augments. All right, so we do have a heal point just outside. I'm not gonna be able to take down that app. Oh, I did take out that apparition before it could inflict poison on everything. Nice, or every one, rather. Oh man, we get so many turns here too. Let's get into another fight, sure. Ooh, that's new. One eye and a wisp. Yeah, like, I kind of feel like they're just kind of using RPG Maker asset pack enemies because they didn't have enemy art that would fit into the setting. Level 10. No skill learned. Yeah, this is a napalm fight. Yeah, the fun of these games is just, you know, some decently balanced, fun combat and dungeon crawling. And the writing is usually pretty good, too. Aside from... Sloppy... Um... Narrative choices. Alright. Take out the ghost. Alright, um, preparation, I'm... I don't have enough MP. Alright. They keep spamming it. I didn't want to waste damage that way. No, you just keep on casting preparation there, buddy. Yeah, that clearly does not stack with itself. You know, let's just 
get everything we can out of this room. Sapphire, okay. Actually, not a lot of coal here. Oh, there's... What was that? Another monster. No need to worry while I'm here. Okay, so that's the way forward. Eight legs. I guess command aura wouldn't be a bad thing. And then debilitate for a ton of damage. Oh wow, 500. Okay, so he's not relegated to healer duty. And he died to poison. Okay, so regenerate is also a group heal in the overworld. You'd think Clarette would be drawing more of the threat considering she does over 300 damage a turn. Red Delicious. Three hundred and twenty gold, jeez. Roast beef of vitality, a stat up item. And some iron ore. Um Yeah, let's go. Oh. Okay, made it past him. Oh, I can't make it to that ladder from here. Uh, you know what? I do need to go grab that heal point. There's no reason not to take advantage of it being there, especially considering I am playing on the hard difficulty. I'm going to assume that the game is out to kill me. Let's see. Three iron ore and two coal. I want one more so that I can make a um, triple quality steel... Um, Probably sword for Sullivan. Considering he really does need the ability to draw aggro. Zealous strike. And start to chip away at the skeletons. Oh, wow, I really thought that would be enough. Luckily, the enemy doesn't get, like, the same damage multiplier on, um... Debilitate, it seems. And now I can really just hammer in on him. Actually, I should probably make it a triple quality armor because armor seems to be very important in this game. And I can't craft a key blast, of course. I should buy that one, though.
that XP. Oh, I see. think I see. No? Maybe here where there's that weird chat? No. How would I get in there, then? Let me take these guys out first, and then take a look. I apologize for traffic noises, it's just very nice out. So I have my windows open for once. Yeah, for once things aren't on fire in California. Come on, finish it off. There we go. Yeah, double weapon seems to be the way to go with Clarette since she is a damage dealer. Okay. Let's take a closer look here. It is just a little bit over from the entrance, so it's over in a corner. Understanding this? I'm just gonna see if it's like, oh, you're actually going in and taking a turn or something. Alright. The rails don't lead anywhere. Alright, that's real weird. I'm gonna go hit the heal point because I. Uh... I don't really need to hit the heal point yet. Just slightly annoying. There's another coal. All right, I think someone something's following us. Oh, there's the big chest. Circuit Breaker, epic loots from the mines... again? I missed something, but that is a gun for Clarette. Tech damage? Sniper shot does 50% more damage. Alright. That is a significantly better weapon, but... Not the greatest encounter to show it off. I must say. Of 
course, the achievements could be slightly mixed up, too. Branch of Life. Medical Herb. And an Aether. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and make this for Sullivan and buy some stuff. I'm gonna make the Triple Forge Armor, maybe Double Forge Sword. I want to look at this one more time here. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps away. Seven steps to the right from the entrance. Here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's where that crack is there. I really do not understand. Is this really just supposed to be like I find another ladder or something? It's strange. Very strange map design. Okay. So let's double check. Five coal, seven iron. Well, I'm going to want to forge the armor first, since it gives HP and defense. Armor, heavy armor, chest, tier 2. Oh, you can't make higher tier versions of armor. Okay. So in that case, I'm also going to make him the headpiece and a sword. Fencing sword, tier two, highest quality. Steel rapier plus two. And then I can augment that. Let's see. He doesn't need int. I don't want to give him magic element. So I'll worry about that later. Yeah, that's a big strength boost there. And then we got a large sum of money there. So let's go spend some of it on the equipment that we couldn't quite replace. So let's see here. Um, I want the Key Blast too. A battle cap for Claret. Oh, uh, there's no. Oh, there are medium. Okay, grips are medium, gauntlets are heavy. Grips for Claret. Why is that worse for Corwin? And gauntlets for Sullivan. Oh wait, no, I don't want to give that to Claret. I still want the Sapphire Bracers. So you can take your Steel Grips. And you can take your Battle Cap. Slightly less strength, but... And take your key blast. And I should sell 
some of the weapons I'm no longer using, because gold is very valuable here. Then I'm going to want to go look at accessories again. I could afford a purple belt, which would be extraordinarily good for Sullivan, uh, because the counter would be di- Oh, I never picked up this chest. And eight of spades. Nice. Because um, Sullivan can counter, which is damage, which will build up his threat even further. And he does damage, which builds up energy even faster. So let's buy a purple belt. I can give the spare ruby ring. Does even your key blast use strength? It does. So I guess he can take the ruby ring. And in terms of augments. I'll take a metal ingot and now I'll keep the sapphire because I can augment the steel rapier plus two with a plus two metal ingot steel rapier plus two plus two and the key blast can take the sapphire for the int bonus okay Again, part of why I'm being so cautious with this game is the fact that I am playing on hard mode. Because I kind of trust this studio to make a good hard mode. So yeah, Sullivan is at nearly 2,000 health. Uh, let's save, since we did do a lot of shopping and upgrading there. do with that there. So let's continue on into the mine. I already checked down there. Ah! What happened? That thing just that thing just picked my pockets clean. Oh, I'm covered in soot. After it. Well, let's just double check. Yeah, nothing in here. Some extra coal. Well, that's the way forward. Dang it. Uh, this is a save point before a boss. Gotcha, you little... Ah! No one's ever followed me this far. Little girl? Oh! Do you really think I look like a girl? Oh, that's the kindest thing anyone said to me in forever. Uh, are you not a girl? Well, I suppose I am, though people tend to yell things like, You wretch, or get away from me, you urchin, when they cross paths with me. It must be particularly awful to inspire that sort of reaction. Well, I know I do, but you'd think people would be polite enough not to say so. Whoa, slow down. What you are is a thief. Return my possessions. Oh, I do apologize. It just looks so lovely and shiny that I simply could not help myself. My name is Chaska, by the way. Here, take it. Duh! Her, her arm! Oh, I was rather hoping no one would notice. What happened to it? It's all black and lumpy. Ugh. Sullivan, shut up! No, he's right, I'm afraid. It's been like this for as long as I can remember. 
That's why I stay down here in the mines. People get awfully scared when they see it. Corwin, do you think you could do anything to fix it? How should I know? Come on, you can at least try. Wow, magic! No one's ever cast magic on me before. Those are the most beautiful sparkles I've ever seen. Uh, it didn't do anything. Oh, I'm not surprised, really. Tis my lot in life to live in a cave with tragically with a tragically ugly arms, catching seagulls for dinner with only the occasional wanderer to distract me from my fate. I am sorry for following you like that. It's only I've never seen such a pretty person down here in the mines before. You mean Clarette? No, him. Can we get back to the part where we're walking, please? You can't just leave her down here. She's just a kid. Taking her with us might actually be more dangerous, though. There's no need to worry about my safety. I assure you, I'm quite capable when it comes to defending myself. Oh, I, it oh, I would love to see more of the surface. It would be a dream come, tr come true. She's just going to slow us down. No, no. In fact, I might even be able to help you through the mines more quickly. You could consider me a local, after all. I wouldn't mind the extra help. Oh, thank you. This is going to be great. Uh, Chaska, a mutant, comes with a bronze claw, venomous claw, 50% damage, the headband, common cloak. Oh. I'm not going to question it. Oh, that was gold ore. Or platinum ore, whatever it is. Oh, that, it was gold. Never mind. Let's see here. Coal slimes. Chaska goes first and has venomous claw. Attack with a chance to poison, slight charge time, and gouge. Attack with a chance to blind. Oh no, the zapper thing is a... Is that a two-hander? Oh, there we go. Counter, and it does build threat. Okay, no, that is still two hits. I was really confused. Corbin levels up. Level 11. Okay, so they're not exactly even trying to hide the big chests. It's just like a way to denote, hey, this is where you get this dungeon's equipment. There we go. Yeah, the achievements were just mixed up. Stylish hat. Ooh. 22 HP, 7 agility, 8 strength, 10 int, 4 evasion. Lamia drones. They're more like Sahagans.
Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that this is their first game because they really like showing off that they can do a different perspective for battle. Chaska gains a level and learns Adrenaline Rush. Sacrifice half a turn to gain full energy. That could be good if she gets some good damaging abilities. to go back to find out. Oh, I missed some coal. I'm just gonna go see if it will, if it opened the one hole. I mean, it almost certainly didn't. But it never hurts to check. Oh, Chaska might be able to... hasn't done Final Fantasy for... Well, there's a rail going into it. Maybe that could be a hint? That's unfortunate. Uh, next time on Let's Play Skyborne, I'm actually going to look this one up because it's going to bug me if I don't. And then we'll be heading off um, out of the coal mines. See you guys then.